Hello students, this is a continuation of our previous lecture on compatible systems of first order equations where we dealt with the problem and we proved that these two given partial differential equations are compatible. The second part of the question is to find the solutions of these PDEs given. So to do that, we will consider those two partial differential equations and we will proceed to find the solution of the given partial differential equation. So I have taken this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. We will be finding the solution of this equation by using dz is equal to pdx plus qdy. So using this linear equation, we will be finding the solutions of, of the given partial differential equations. In order to do so, we should know the value of P and the value of Q, where the value of P and Q will be evaluated from, by solving these two simultaneous equation with respect to P and Q. So what we will do, we will solve these two equations for P and Q. Uh, now if you see here, we have to multiply this equation by Q in order to cancel these terms and find the value of P. So uh, equation 2 has to be multiplied with Y. Okay. I mean uh, not Q. This has to be multiplied with Y. Equation 2 has to be multiplied with Y in order to make these two terms similar. So the first equation remains the same. So XP minus YQ minus X is equal to 0. The second equation will be multiplied with y. So x squared yp plus yq minus xyz is equal to 0. Now let us add these two equations. So when we do, when we do so, these two gets cancelled. And here we have xp plus x squared yp. And then minus x minus xyz is equal to 0. Now, in these two equations, I mean these two terms, we can take x and p in common. So, if I take x and p in common, we will be having 1 plus, uh, here we will have xy, because we have taken one of the xp as common. And in these two terms, we can take negative x common, so that we get 1 plus y z is equal to 0. Now from this we will find the value of P for which we will have it as XP 1 plus XY is equal to taking this term to the right it becomes X multiplied with 1 plus Y is it. So now from this P will be equal to taking these two terms to the right it will go to the denominator. So X multiplied with 1 plus Y Z divided by X multiplied with 1 plus XY. And we observe that these two gets cancelled and so therefore the value of P will be equal to 1 plus YZ divided by 1 plus XY. So this is the value of P. Now we have to substitute this value of P in one of these two equations and find the value of Q. Now we shall substitute that value of P in equation 1. So the value of P if we substitute in equation 1, let me show that here. So x multiplied with p. What is p? p is 1 plus yz divided by 1 plus xy. And then minus yq minus x is equal to 0. Now we have to find the value of q from this. So we will take these two terms to the right. So minus yq will be equal to when this x goes to the right it becomes plus x. And when this term goes it becomes minus x multiplied with 1 plus yz divided by 1 plus xy. We can take 1 plus xy as LCM on the right. So 1 plus xy and so we can multiply the this. So it will become x plus x squared y and then multiplying this x within the bracket minus x minus xyz. So that will be equal to, we observe that plus x and minus x gets cancelled. And we can see that in these two terms, x, y is in common. So we can take that x, y out 
and here we will be having x minus z divided by 1 plus xy so this is minus yq is equal to this so now from this q will be equal to xy multiplied with x minus z divided by minus y into x plus uh, 1 plus xy now this y and y gets cancelled this negative sign we will multiply within this bracket and so the value of q will be equal to x multiplied with z minus x because i have multiplied this negative sign within the bracket so it becomes z minus x divided by 1 plus xy so this is the value of q so we have obtained the value of p and the value of q as well now p and q has to be substituted in this linear equation in order to solve this these given pdes so let us do that now so d is z will be equal to p dx so p is 1 plus y is z divided by 1 plus x y dx plus q dy so plus q is x multiplied with z minus x divided by 1 plus x y dy now in order to solve this what we can do is we can subtract dx on both the sides so dz minus dx will be equal to so now here when we subtract dx we will be having 1 plus y is z divided by 1 plus x y minus um, actually uh, dx will be taken as common and here we will be having like this because we are subtracting dx now we have a dx here so dx we can have it in common and this minus 1 plus x multiplied with z minus x divided by x plus 1 plus uh, xy dy now in these two terms we can take that 1 plus xy in as lcm so 1 plus xy and in the numerator we will have 1 plus yz minus 1 minus xy multiplied with dx plus x multiplied with z minus x divided by 1 plus xy dy so we now we observe that this plus 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled and we can take a uh, y as common here so this will be equal to taking y common we will have z minus x divided by 1 plus xy dx plus x multiplied with z minus x divided by 1 plus xy dy so here we have dz minus dx we observe that this z minus x is common in both the terms so we will take that also common and we will write so after taking z minus x common and taking the lcm denominator are, co are same so taking the lcm we will be getting z minus x multiplied with y dx plus x dy divided by the common denominator 1 plus xy so that i have taken and written here now we will solve this further so now taking this z minus x to the left we get dz minus dx divided by z minus x is equal to y dx plus x dy divided by 1 plus xy now we will make some substitutions here now let's take u to be equal to z minus x so what will be du du will be equal to dz minus dx in a similar way let us take v to be equal to this denominator 1 plus xy so what will be dv the differentiation of this differentiation of 1 is 0 now this xy has to be differentiated uh, by using uv method so first we will have y as it is and differentiate x so we will get dx plus then we will have x as it is, as it is and differentiate y so we get dy so if we observe that uh, here we observe that this z minus x is u and dz minus dx is du so du by u is equal to um, and this one y dx plus x dy is dv divided by v now we shall integrate on both the sides so integrating on both the sides what is uh, the integral of du by u it is log u is equal to the integral of dv by v is log v plus a constant of integration because both the terms are in log we can take the constant as log c and now uh, from this we can write log u is equal to log 
uh, vc because we know that uh, whenever we have log a plus log b it can be written as log ab so using this logarithmic formula we have written this now from this we observe that u is equals to vc so we can write u is equal to vc now what is u u we have taken here it is z minus x so z minus x is equal to v is 1 plus xy so 1 plus xy multiplied with c further z will be equal to taking this x to the right we get x plus c multiplied with 1 plus xy so this is the solution of the given pde which is of one parameter family and so we have found the uh, solution of the given partial differential equation so you may get the question as uh, prove that the given pdes are compatible and then solve them so when you get that you have to do the previous uh, video lecture which i have already posted along with these steps and complete the problem hope you have understood the lecture thank you